This Hawaii is part of a larger family of Polynesia. Hi, my name is Robert Hutchison. I am one of the instructors and coordinators with the uh, PACES Summer Environmental Program. One of the first activities that we do is we take them up to the Nu'uanupali. We have them taking measurements, things like humidity, wind speed, air temperature, water temperature, and kind of the point of that is understanding that all these things um, within an area are connected to one another. and that one unifying connection really is about the water that moves through them. As they tour the Ahupua from ridge to reef, um, they actually gather soil samples at different points. We bring the, that back and then we have them looking at soil texture, breaking up the soil by particle size. We look at the organic content by incineration, by how much organic material is in the soil. We also look at the pH of the soil, how acidic or basic it is. And then finally we look at what's called water holding capacity, how much water can the soil hold. Um, my name is Kua. I'm the executive director for Kako'o Uivi. I assume all of you guys are interested in science. Cut it and then it shoots spears. And then more. Yeah. This guy, oh, so right it looks kind of like dill. For the young kids and the young uh, participants of PACES, you're the future. Hurry up. Get going. We need you. Hi, my name is Jayton Galario. I've started PACES in 2012. The next two years after that, I've been a student mentor. And then since 2015, I've been a uh, teaching assistant. And I have the opportunity to teach conventional agriculture and emerging technologies because after all, there is no life without agriculture. My name is Jamie Hamamoto and I'm currently a junior at the University of Hawaii. So in 2014, that was my first year here at PACES. And in 2015, I came back as a mentor last year to assist with the research projects. And this year, I'm a teacher's assistant. So, I really love fishing. And the PACES program gave me an opportunity to experience more about the environmental side of the Ahupua'a of Kaneohe and the entire island of Oahu that I live on. I was able to take that with me into my fishing to learn and what I can do to make a difference to the entire island and the fishing community here in Hawaii. Aloha, my name is Auli'i Aveao and I am a culture practitioner and culture educator here at the PACES program. Uh, my primary responsibility here is to connect the students with the various cultural sites that we go to, teach them about the history, the importance of preservation, and really just character building for the students. Um, we've been blessed to have a beautiful Oli composed specifically for our program. <laughs> that acknowledges um, our mountain peaks, various places that we will visit. Um, and so this is really the cultural foundation and cultural values of the program demonstrated in the Oli. So I'm very grateful that the PACES program has always made a point and priority to be culturally sensitive and infusing various cultural practices and cultural values and going to cultural sites. That's like probably the most
course, during our intertidal survey, we collect some of the critters that we find so we can see what kinds of uh, invertebrates are out there. So they are what we would describe as suspension feeders. Water comes in to what are called respiratory trees that are like internal lungs, but they're breathing the water. Chloroplasts, or once it's digested, they're called kleptoplasts. Little, little red eyes. Okay, all right. Aloha, my name is Manning Tate. I am the science education coordinator for the PACES program. And with all these students coming together from public, private, and charter schools to work in teams addressing the really challenging environmental issues, what I'm finding is that we're seeing really a lot of confidence coming out of our students. They're finding their passion. They're super excited to put on that lab coat and those goggles and those gloves and become doctor so-and-so. So for some of them, it's the first time their entire generation. Aloha, I'm Derek Esabel. I work for the Pacific American Foundation and spend my summers as an instructor for PACES. PACES goes ahead and looks at uh, ridge to reef monitoring and that is really following the pathway of water. One of the ways students measure water quality is by using a probe. This specific probe measures turbidity, which is the murkiness of the water, temperature, dissolved oxygen concentration, conductivity, salinity, and the pH. Societies in Hawaii specifically, it was all based along the streams and how that water flows. My name is Erin Kondo. I am teaching the microbiology lab today. One of the skills that I definitely learned from this program was teamwork. We do a coral reef survey and each team member has to help with parts of that survey, whether it's recording, laying out the transect, counting the different types of coral, and analyzing. Everyone has a job. It's the only way things will get done. So I keep coming back to help the new students that come in because I want to teach them what I was able to learn. And I'm always learning. Every year I learn new things. Aloha, my name is Dave Krupp. I'm uh, a uh, professor of marine and biological sciences here at Windward Community College. I'm also the uh, director of the Pacific Center for Environmental Studies. So, you know, PACES, of course, began originally as a partnership between uh, uh, Windward Community College and the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology. So the idea of PACES is this idea that uh, what we do in our watersheds impacts our coastal environments and, and our coral reefs. I like to go out to this one coral reef spot, in part because uh, it's an easy access uh, site. It's, it's in the lee of the wind, which makes it easy for our students to get in the water, feel comfortable being in the water, and learn how to survey a coral reef. We've been doing this since the summer of 2005. We have data on these reef sites, and so we can see whether or not there have been changes to this particular site uh, over the years. This is we actually train the students in doing two different types of surveys. Uh, for example, how much live coral is present uh, versus non-living uh, coral reef materials, how much seaweed is present, and, and other organisms that might be uh, important components of the reef environment. And in some cases, we may detect uh, species that don't belong there, that may be invasive, may cause problems for our reefs, such as some of the invasive seaweeds that uh, wreak havoc on reefs in Kaneohe Bay. When we had the little Oli, you know, we always make a circle. That reminds us that uh, no one of us can do this alone. So in Hawaiian, we say aloha kikahi ni kikahi. That means share the aloha. I'm 
Sierra Ewan. Uh, I was a student at PACES summer of 2015. I graduated from Kamehameha High School and now I'm a student at UC Santa Cruz studying Earth Science with concentration in Ocean Science. It's just really great to be back here at the Fish Pond and just with the PACES Ohana. They really helped me to figure out like where I want, what I want to do with my life and what I want to study and it's just great to be back out here, Malamaina. <laughs> so today, uh, the PACES students gathered at Waikula Loco Fish Pond getting boulders and rocks from one side of the pond and buoyed them to the other to uh, reconstruct that rock wall that was damaged due to our extreme high tides. Students are not only learning about Hawaiian culture, but also learning about engineering and how this process was conducted 400 years ago. Hi, I'm Marianne Powell and I'm from the island of Molokai and a student here at PACES program. PACES has provided me loads of information ranging from environmental science to marine biology and I've also been introduced to many new skills that just completely blew my mind and inspired me to become a scientist and to inspire others at my school. We are the Pacific Center for Environmental Studies, also known 